Hello and welcome to another episode of Kit Plus TV. This week seems to have a theme around making production workflows easier and efficient with all the difficulties that our current situation has thrown at us. A tool that has been around for many years now and will make your location experience that bit more functional is the DIT cart or workstation on wheels. Yeah, years ago we might have chosen off-the-shelf trolleys to do this job but Innovative may have just seen that a properly designed product may be worth the investment. So we'd like to welcome Dave McRitty from Innovative, all the way from Boston. Welcome to the show, Dave. Yeah, hi there, how are you doing? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Now, I do recall a, um, a BSC show when a good DAP friend of mine spent hours showing me the difference between all the carts and trolleys. But um, maybe you can tell us the difference in an equipment trolley and a production cart. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, life has changed for everybody on set, of course, obviously more so in a COVID year, but, uh, but over the last uh, 10, uh, 15 years or so, as our industry's changed, the equipment we're using has changed. It's become a lot more um, portable in its aspect. And the one thing that there never was available for any operator was a workstation that was uh, designed, built from the ground up, to uh, perform the tasks that, that we do. Um, there are several uh, trolleys, carts, whatever you want to call them, that um, are made by other manufacturers for a very general purpose for hauling equipment from one place mm -hmm. to another. And sure, that job hasn't changed on set. There are still plenty of uses for those kind of carts. But um, you know what a UPS or FedEx a guy is using to deliver his, um, you know, boxes and packages. Is that necessarily the right tool for somebody who could be, you know, bringing a hundred thousand um, dollars, pounds, whatever worth of equipment mm -hmm. to set? And answer is probably not, right? So, um, Pat Blewett, who founded the company, uh, he was actually a stills photographer and did a lot of uh, work early on in digital and. Uh, he built the product for himself, and uh, from from there, people started to see it. And you know, a company was born just a couple of couple of years later. And I think there's no doubt uh, that we're now the surf industry leader in um, in it. And as our our company name would suggest, we're uh, innovating on in the brand as well. We, if there's a new product comes to market um, that that requires a different kind of workstation, uh, we're you can rest assured that we're uh, looking at things for the future. We're involved continuously with uh, talking to our customers, to end users. Of course, um, you know, a massive uh, thing of that has been trade shows, which we haven't been able to do this year. But, you know, we still outreach through our uh, social media. We respond directly to people. And um, it's been a, a really, a really great uh last two years i've been with the company for two years and just uh, seeing the expansion has been uh, unbelievable um, we've secured our distribution networks pretty much globally now so you know anytime that you want to be efficient uh, with a workstation uh, it's great if you have the same type of product or if you can uh, rent it uh, in australia or in the us or in the uk or you can fly with it and travel it's, it's, it makes a huge difference. Um, you know, what, what we're about is improving yeah. workflow and efficiency. Without that, there would be no point to our product. I mean, honestly, it's, you don't need one of our uh, workstations just to haul your equipment. But when you get to the location, if you want, you know, whatever you're doing, whatever your discipline is, um, we're there to meet the needs for that. So give us a quick, um, give us a quick uh, description. Let's run through the range. What's mm -hmm. the differences between the different ranges? And of course, sure. what's what is the unique thing about your production carts versus trolleys? You know, sure. like for example, are they silent wheels? You know, rattling yeah. and so on. Yeah, excellent. So, no, they uh, we have three uh, main sort of uh, sort of lines, if you will. So we have our uh, workstations with four wheels. What would what, would have been called carts before. We feel we've evolved from a cart to a workstation now. I'll come back to that a little bit more. Sure. Um, so those those models, we have uh, three lines of those. There's um, Echo and Ranger, which are essentially the same cart. They do not have, the wheels do not come off those ones. So they're, uh, they partially collapse, but they have the ability to have uh, hydraulic disc brakes on them. So, um, you know, if you're loading on and off a truck often or going up and down ramps, um, 
it's a lot, you know, it's a one person job now to be able to do that. Whereas, you know, you can watch mm. two people trying to, uh, it's like watching herding cats or something as they're trying to, to you know, keep, uh, keep some other brands going. So it's, um, that's one advantage there. Uh, we have options for uh, people who are, you know, like DITs who are using keyboards all the time. So uh, having a, uh, uh, one side of the top shelf without a lip, st uh, you know, stops that pressure on your wrists and things from them leaning on there or having to bring like Apple boxes or other or other components to raise it up. Um, our Voyager carts, as the name would suggest, uh, the Voyager uh, is a travel uh, friendly workstation. Uh, they're, they completely fold up into themselves. It's, it, we were the originators of this design. It's been copied a few times now, but n nobody has, uh, the build quality that we do, nor offers the support of the product. You, um, we do have five year warranty with it as mm. well. So we really get behind the product. Um, right. yeah. what, uh, what, you know, you mentioned wheels and why is it silent on set? We actually, the wheels are not like other manufacturers are not generic branded wheels. We actually manufacture our own, uh, hubs for them, which have sealed bearings. So they're, uh, relatively, I mean, I, I would say they're maintenance free. Um, you know, you can splash right. through muddy fields and puddles. There's no, concerns with your bearings getting all um you know fouled up with that kind of stuff we have our axis line of products which is based on a um a grip stand so whilst uh, it's a it's a, a very modular type of system that can be broken down into mm -hmm. small components and put back together so you can fit it into smaller spaces you can uh, very much go job by job as to what components you're taking with you. So if you only need to have a monitor mount and a, a keyboard, you would it would be a very simple setup. If you wanted to have a control station to control, you know, it could be drones, it could be remote heads, could be, you know, anything like that, then it's a different setup. So very modular. And finally, we have our uh, Digi Systems product line, which is, uh, all about enhancing the use of your uh, laptops with um, ability to, s similar to the ca a cage would be on a camera, to be able to mount third-party accessories. Um, it's uh, We have a, a sort of cheese plate style base that you can mount drives on, legs, there's shades and various kit forms of that. So that in, in a nutshell, that that's, that's what, what we do. Yeah, that's a pretty comprehensive uh, range. So um, how do your products help maintain social distancing on um, COVID safe productions? Yeah, well, this is, uh, you know, it's very interesting. We've been looking uh, pretty hard at this all year. And one of the things that, that really uh, you, you notice is having a very organized workspace makes a, a complete difference. So um, yeah. knowing where things are and that they're in the same place each time. And, you know, we have accessories for almost everything so accessories if you're a steady cam operator we've got um you know a steady cam system to to uh hold there and we even have a vest rod holder for your vest so again there's you know every every item that you're using has a place and you determine where you put it on your workstation now once it's there it's like second nature it's like we get into the car and we start driving there's no unnecessary touching of extra things that are around your work work surface because you don't have to. You have a very you in in this way. You've got a, a very kind of sealed uh, area. It's pretty obvious that this is your work workspace. And in this, you know, in, in enhanced protocols we have now for safety, having your own sort of uh, bubble, if you will, your own workspace that that other people aren't invited into, uh, really helps that. And just being able to be completely mobile at any point. Um, you know, a flip of your your ankle sort of thing to to take the foot break off and you can roll silently uh, across set to another area um, if need be. So uh, just having a workstation that is super mm -hmm. mobile, portable, can go anywhere, having a very organized work surface that you're not going to be, you know, there's no unnecessary things on, uh, even down to like the cup holders that that uh, is our number one accessory sale. Everybody buys those. Um, having those because it's very you know it's obvious where you put your your drink and right now if you bring a flat surface anywhere people will put their drink on it i mean that just happens so having the drink holders yeah. is very obvious don't put anything on here so again it's just keeping that clean uh, uh 
uh, space for you there. Now, in addition, we have been uh, working on some other products for health and safety on set. We have now sort of some um, sanitizer dispenser uh, holders. We've got some uh, mask and glove uh, distribution kind of boxes. Now, they would not typically be, uh, it, the, the people who are buying those would not typically be our operator users because if you if you have that on your workstation, then you actually have the opposite effect because everybody comes to you. But, um, you know, we're thinking those are more, again, portable. We make the only portable system for clamping a dispenser onto any two inch or narrower post, for example. So um, again, it's all about being able to move things to where they need to be in a safer area or in a less uh, crowded area and uh, just being efficient in your workspace. Yeah, fantastic. So a worthwhile investment. So now, you know, we, we, before, we let we, before we let you go, we don't want to catch you out on this, but uh, we always ask our guests uh, to tell us something about you that we or even maybe some of your colleagues don't know about you yet? Well, <laughs> nice one. So, uh, you know, Be careful. I'm well, actually, so here's the thing. I'm actually known quite well within my company because being I'm I'm remote uh, working. So everybody uh, is on the is on California. They're three hours away from me and 3000 miles. So my interactions with the company do tend to involve a lot of chat because I don't have anyone else to talk to. So they do know a lot about me already. Uh, but uh, things that uh, things that uh, I, they don't know. So one of my uh, passions in life is music. I absolutely love music. And I grew up with it because my father was on the radio, actually. He was BBC and my sister, I'll give her a plug too. She's a senior radio uh, producer at BBC Scotland. So it's in the family. And um, I learned to play guitar very early on. Now, my daughter turns out to be much more uh, talented than I am. And I had to stop playing with her because we were going to some... Um, local coffee uh, type places to do open mics. And unfortunately I was embarrassing her because my skills were not quite up to par with her. So um, my, uh, I, I have a feeling, I have this idea Perhaps inside me that I can, yeah. yeah, I can, I, I feel like I can sing and play, but apparently whenever I do and record it, it's not for public consumption. I shouldn't even sing in the car. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you for sharing that with us, Dave. Thanks for watching today, uh, today, and of course, thanks to Dave for coming on the show. To see all of our video interviews and kit reviews, then head over to kitplus.tv, which is brought to you with the support of Media Proxy, and you can find out all about them at mediaproxy.com.